finally we've got someone that could be a little bit more informative than the Moscow Police Department. Check this interview out. And, uh, uh, Joseph, thank you so much for being with us. You are one of the leading experts on the coroner system in Scott Morgan. He is a professor of forensic, also for forensics, also a former senior investigator with the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office out of Atlanta. Uh, Joseph, thank you so much for being with us. You are one of the leading experts on the coroner system in the U.S. So please walk us through what is happening on the investigative end here with this crime scene. Well, they have had it locked down for some time and it's very interesting i think uh, particularly what brian just covered that they just now are removing these vehicles i would have thought that by this point in time they would have been removed to a secure location which is probably going to be the state crime lab or maybe an fbi facility where they can keep them contained inside of a garage an evidence processing garage and no one else will have access to these uh, the problem is the longer you wait for these things the more physical evidence becomes diminished, perhaps. And so, uh, you know, at this point in time, I, I guess they're thinking there might be evidence in the vehicle, on the exterior of the vehicle, then they would have snapped them up much sooner. Now, uh, to, to the location itself, it is still locked down, as well that it should be. This is an active, ongoing investigation. And Nicole, you know, this is a very complicated crime scene. It's multi, it's a multi-story, uh, dwelling and it's it's kind of oddly configured. You've got multiple entrances on uh, from several perspectives. You know that back door that you guys showed just a second ago on that parking pad back there. And in addition, that second floor where you've got that uh, you know that panel of sliding glass doors, uh, it can be accessed from there as well. So there is uh, quite a bit of nuance here uh, relative to how this is being approached. Um, I'm just hoping that everything is staying locked down and that they are only allowing select individuals into that dwelling that are properly versed in processing crime scenes. Well, so Joseph, I want to stay on this, though. So, so the fact that now it's been two weeks, they're just now towing away these cars based on everything you know. I mean, is that raising questions potentially about how this investigation is progressing? We know it's always much easier to be on the outside looking in and saying, oh, they should be doing this, they should be doing that. But you're the expert here. Uh, well, from my perspective, you know, the cars would have been gone uh, two weeks ago, essentially, because if there is value in them now, there was value in them then. And they are, in fact, uh, part of that crime scene. You see that tape that's up there? Everything that is within that tape is under the control, the active control of the law enforcement officials. And so they're just kind of out there. They're exposed to the elements. So you want to get those secured as soon as possible. And I'm not trying to be a Monday morning quarterback here. However, you have to look at this and think, why weren't they removed sooner? So that's certainly something that I think should have been addressed much quicker. I'm glad that they're getting to them now, though. And Joseph, before we let you go, do you have any theories about what may have happened here? Well, I, I can tell you this, just from the snatches that we've gotten, I think that this is a very brutal scene. It, uh, it's, I'm certainly no profiler, but from a medical legal perspective, when you begin to think about uh, injuries sustained by sharp force injury, uh, it is uh, very brutal. It's very primal, if you will. A lot of anger is involved in this because this is not like shooting someone, Nicole, at a distance. This is up close and personal. You're in this individual space. I think that goes without saying. You're actually in, in the room uh, with them, in their bedroom. And that, again, makes it very personal. A lot of anger involved here. Uh, again, we don't know a lot about the nature of the injuries. We have heard uh, that there are stab wounds. We've heard, uh, I think, snatches that there are defensive wounds. That gives you a sense of awareness, doesn't it, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, the individual, whoever it was, had an awareness that they were being attacked. I think that that's about as much as we can read into it. I can tell you this. There will be a tremendous, a tremendous amount of biological evidence at the scene, mm -hmm. namely in the form of blood and, by extension, in DNA. All right, Joseph Scott Morgan, uh, we thank you for your time. We want to let our viewers know News Nation's coverage of the Idaho murderers continues later on. It's a special